Yes, today is the season finale of the Olympic Lyonnais career mode. Season number one is ending today, boys. However, before I get the finale started, I wanted to say thank you guys for the support on this first career mode on the channel. At least the first career mode that I have uploaded consistently on. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. So go ahead and keep hitting that like button, comment button, and subscribe button. We are trying to hit 100 subs before the end of January. I can only do that with the help from you guys. And with the season finale today, we have three games on the docket. Three huge games. And if you guys remember correctly, two episodes ago, we ended up losing in the Coupe Nacional to FC Lorient on an absolutely insane game. The craziest game of FIFA of all time. We lost on penalties that game, so we were knocked out of the cup. So the League One Uber Eats is the only remaining competition that we have. And boys, we have three big games today. We face Lille in the first game away. We face Marseille in the Derby, our bitter rivals at home at the Gupama Stadium. That's going to be one insane game right there. There's going to be some tension going on for sure. And then Angers is going to be the last game of the season. And we need to win every single one of those matches because, boys, the standings for the League One table are looking tight. Right now, we are sitting on 70 points, which has us tied with OGC Nice. But Nice has a very difficult schedule this episode. Um, the last three games are very difficult. I think they face all top eight teams. And then Stad Rene, that's the team we are trying to catch right now. We are only three points off of them. They're sitting in that third and final Champions League spot right now. We need to catch them, boys. Our main goal for this season was to get Champions League, bring Lyonnais back to the Champions League. We have CR7, so we're pretty much halfway there. This is going to be one hell of an episode, so go ahead, sit back, grab some popcorn. Let's get into it. All right, let's go ahead and look at the squad that we have ready for this Leo game. Leo is a very difficult opponent. If you guys remember, just two seasons ago, they ended up winning the League One Uber Eats title. Um, however, they have sold a few players since then. Uh, i.e. Sven Botman. Weston McKinney is sitting on a red card right now, so we do need to replace him. And I am kind of torn of who I want to put in. I don't know if Rene Adelaide would be good, or Taliso, or even Lebanon. Lebanon's been pretty good for us, but I think we're going to bring Taliso in. He is the highest rated player there, and he is the best attacking player. McKinney's going to come out. We are going to put Lacazette onto the bench there. Um, and I really don't want to make any crazy changes. I think this team is solid to go. So let's go ahead and get into this away game here. The first game of the season finale here, boys. Let's go. Here we are at the Groupama Stadium, boys. I cannot stress enough how important these next three games are. And it all starts with this one. We need to set the tone here. Great job, Tag Leaf, Vigo. That is great. Oh, what a lucky pass that was. Malin to Ronaldo on his left foot. He's not going to shoot that. He's going to be safe. All right, back to Malin. He's going to go in. Oh, my God. Is that Iwar? That is a bad shot from Iwar. But it's a good, you know, first few minutes of this game. Uh, we are looking pretty lively right now. Gusto, you got to get that. Come on. Oh, Gusto gets done in right there. And then our defense is vulnerable. We are vulnerable. Oh, this is over. It's a goal. Oh, my God. It hit the post. That's unlucky on them. They should have scored there. But Gusto does really well. Get that out. Thank you. Yo, we are getting so done in right now. What are we doing? We're falling over each other. Guys, I know we're nervous, but come on. Wake up. Man, wake up. Please, wake up. Yo, that was a laser. CCR7 on the run. How does Iwar not get rid of the ball there? How does... And then we lose the ball again. I didn't even know I had it. How does Iwar lose the ball right there? Dude's tracking behind you. Protect the ball. It's not that hard. Stop stressing, my guy. That was not a good pass. I do not want to do that. I didn't want to do that. Yo. Stop. Stop it now. What are we doing, guys? What are we doing? My team didn't come to play today. We didn't come to play at all. We have such a bad squad right now. Like, we... Uh, okay, Tagliafico forgot how to play all of a sudden. He went from our best defender to possibly the worst player on our team. There we go. There we go. Ronaldo. That's it. That's got to be a goal. It's not, though. It really just wasn't a good shot. 
Come on. Let's go short. We have not scored from the corner in a long time. Probably not going to start now. But we do have a good looking shot here from Malin. Finesse. Oh, it was a banger, but he missed wide. Get that inside. Thank you. I feel like my guys are just a step slow right now. There we go. Fev on his left foot. That's a goal. And now we are back even. One to one behind a goal from Fev. A great goal at that. It was a great worked goal. One touch. Boom. Left foot in, this, in the corner. He is left footed. Um, so you expect him to make that all day. That's his range too. I feel like we haven't seen Fev score a goal in a long time. Great setup touch right there. And a great pass from Taliso. Our substitute for McKinney. Because McKinney of course is on a red card right now. And Fev gets his uh, 13th goal in the league season. That is big time for us right now. He's been a great player for us this whole season. One of our top scorers. And his sisters as well. Iwar. Over the top from Ronaldo. He's going to get there. He's quick. He's way quicker than these guys. Ronaldo's going to get that. He's going to shoot that with his left foot. This keeper's on drugs. He's on drugs right now. How does he save that? Oh, it's a good ball for Lukeba. Oh, it's unlucky. And just like that, it is halftime. Frankly, I think we should be winning this game. I don't want to make any changes right now. There's no need to because right now we are on a good little run. I feel like we've had a good spell of possession lately. Get that inside. There we go. Oh, my God. Inside again. There it is. Taliso. Can he turn? He can. Let's get that out to Fev. Let's swing that in with his right. His left foot outside the boot. It's not going to get to Malin. But Ronaldo is pressuring. Wow. High work rate right now from Ronaldo. And he wins it back. Oh, my God. CR7. CR7 is doing it all for us. He's going inside. He's going on his right foot. Oh, CR7 really wants to win this game. No, 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 no. No, no, no. It is Bio. Bio is dangerous. He's quick. But Gusto is better. Can he use his body? He takes it again. Let's go. Gusto, that's big time right there for you. From you. Oh, that's big from five. Ronaldo to Gusto on the overlap. Oh, my God. Oh, it's kind of a good ball. He's not going to get there, though. Iwar is not going to get there. Here we go. Yo, Malin. Bro, Ronaldo was open in the box. Gusto, come on. We need this, buddy. We need this, buddy. Oh, Todibo with a great step right there. I was trying to get that double team started. Hold the ball. Ronaldo over the top. He's going to get there. Come down with it, Ronaldo. This is it. This is your moment. On your right foot. Let's go. CR7 is still clutch. He is still the man. He is still the guy that's going to be leading us to the Champions League. And hopefully next year, hopefully he doesn't retire. And hopefully he will be leading us during the Champions League run. CR7 is one of the GOATs. Many people's GOAT. On his right foot, on the volley. Just smashes it home past the keeper the keeper does not have the reflexes to stop that is jonathan david not on leo anymore at least in this save i know in real life he is no oh we got so lucky right there that was a bad shot come up come up get that wide there we go gusto to fev into ronaldo oh ronaldo does really bad there but he gets it back oh what what was he doing Kakaret. Kakaret does so bad though. Bro, the constant pressure is very tough right now. Come out, Lopez. No way! Okay, I know I've said we've been unlucky before, but that is the most ridiculous goal I have ever seen in my life. Show the replay. Show the replay, boy. Boy, if you don't show the replay right now, thank you. Like, I... Lopez, why don't you pick it up, dude? What is he doing? That's why we're getting a new keeper. That is exactly why we're going to get a new keeper. We have to make some subs right now. We're going to bring Cherokee in for Malin. Gusto's had a pretty good game as well. We're going to bring Tete in for Fev, even though he scored a goal already. Um, and then Rene Adelaide in for Toliso. Zero seven. 7 He's onside. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? They're not stepping up to him. What's he going to do, though? Bro, if you do not score this, please, Tete. Chill, 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 chill. Let's get that up. No! 
Oh my god, I thought they were gonna blow the whistle. Renee Adelaide. Out to Cherokee. Boy, I'm stressing. Boy, I'm stressing. What's going on right now? What is going on? We're gonna shoot that. Oh my god! Oh my god! Is that Renee? Renee Adelaide! Boys, I am so tired right now. My mind is so stressed, but I would not be surprised if the ref added like five minutes and then Leo comes down and scores. Two goals in 10 matches this season, wow. Bro, there's just no way we just scored that. And there's the game. Guys, I know I should be so happy right now, but I'm just so tired. This season has been such a grind, so grueling right now. Drop a like for that win. Uh, I've never seen anything like this this season before. I've never been through this before. Unbelievable. Thank God for Renee Adelaide. And Nice tied their game. They dropped two points. We move ahead of them. We are two points clear now into that Europa League spot. And it looks like Renee may have tied their game and dropped some points as well. Let's see. Marseille ended up winning their game 4-2. Uh, we do play Marseille next. That's going to be one hell of a game. Renee ended up tying Nice. Okay, so Nice and Renee play, played and they tied. That's actually probably the best outcome for us. It looks like we will be unable to catch Monaco um, unless they lose their next two games, but I doubt they will. Um, but Renee drops points. We are one point behind Stad Renee's right now. And who do they play next? Next, they play Lille, the team we just played. However, they're at home, but I think Leo might be able to do a job there. Just get a tie, boys. Make them drop some points. And then Stabernace plays Monaco as well. That could be a game where they drop points as well. So if we can win out, boys, we need to win out to really give ourselves a fighting chance. Let's go ahead and get into this Olympic Marseille game. We are going to have Weston McKinney back in the squad, healthy and not on a red card, <laughs> which is nice. Looks like Peterson's got up to a 77. Um, any more growth? Madeline's up to an 84. Iwar's up to an 83. So we have some major squad growth here. Um, Rene Adelaide should be an 80 right now based on that performance. I mean, he is just a monster. I think I just want to start the usual starting 11. Let's get into this game against Marseille. It is the derby. Let's go. France is going to be rocking. These two clubs do not like each other. Two of the biggest rivals in the country, in the world, in fact. And we we're at home here. The last time we played them, we ended up winning, I'm pretty sure, that game. I think it was a pretty easy game for us, like 4-1. to one. And that was on the road. So I'm excited to see what we can do at home here. Um, of course, I do want to get out to a hot start. That is very important for us. It looks like Marseille has second thoughts. They do look dangerous already. They look so dangerous. How does that... How does that already happen? When Doozy, the former Ar Arsenal player, I'm pretty sure they made that loan deal permanent. And now he scores on us. That is so depressing. That's just sad, honestly. Oh my god, Ronaldo, he's open. On his right foot, that's a goal. They didn't close him down. This is insane right now. Going back and forth, back and forth. This end of the season, these last few episodes have been absolutely just absurd. Great FIFA you're watching. Go ahead and drop a like and a comment, boys. Hit that subscribe button. This content is going to be coming daily. Just absolutely insane stuff going on right now. To Gusto. Back to Fev. He is left-footed. He's going to hit that. He's going to bang that. It's not a good shot. It's over the net. Uh, Lukeba gets done there. Guendouzi's once again open. I mean, this guy's not a cam. Is he playing cam for them? I don't know what's going on. But this guy's open so much. Nice pass, Lukeba. Let's go. Come on, Gusto. Gusto is attacking a lot right now. Back to Gusto. Oh, we're attacking the middle. We're going to attack that. Ronaldo, once again, on his brace. Come on. Let's go, McKinney on the rebound. It just falls to his feet by the luck of God. And McKinney is able to slot it home. One of the easiest goals he's going to see all season. Weston McKinney, he's been an unsung hero for us. Eh, I've sung his name pretty pretty good like a good amount of times um and that's gonna be just an easy goal for him Ronaldo does well too you can see Ronaldo wants the ball right there he still wants to score you gotta love that from him he always wants to score get that out wide Fev I was gonna exploit that there he is he attacks that oh I was trying to pass it to CR7 there he is CR7 in the box that's a goal 3-0 
Wait, 3-1. Three, 3-1 one. Three, one against Olympic Marseille. We won the last game 4-1 against them. Right now, I don't know why it's so easy to play against them. But they are spread very thin in the back. And we are exploiting them. Of course, the Lyon fans are probably giving the Marseille fans a lot of crap right now. Um, but that's Derby Day for you. When rivalries come together, there's going to be explosions. Maybe having McKinney back in that midfield has made the world of difference for us. But uh, I, I don't know really why we're doing so well, but we are. And I'm very excited about it, very happy about it. Malin, oh my god, what are they doing? What's going on right now? It's 4-1 to one in the first half with 9 minutes left in the first half. We are destroying Marseille right now. I don't even know what to say. This is not... This was not in the script. I was expecting a dogfight, a tough, a close... A tightly contested game. And right now, we are making mincemeat out of Marseille. They scored the first goal. We have scored four goals ever since then. There we go. Waste the time out of this half. Let's get rid of the first half here. Come on. Nice. Ref, blow the whistle, please. Ref, blow the whistle, my guy. Why is he not blowing the whistle? I mean, seriously. What? What? This guy's voting for Marseille. Like, he wants Marseille to win. Bro. 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 No way that's a pen. This game is so rigged, my guy. Why didn't he blow the whistle? Come on. Of course he slots that away. Broja. They got Armando Broja. I didn't know about that. Wow. Well, good for him. Come on, Malin. Just run past him. There we go, Malin. Let's go. Let's go. He sees Ronaldo. Ronaldo's open. He's on his left foot. He's going to slot that. Oh, uh, it's going to be out of bounds. Going out for a corner kick. Why is Luke Cabo over here? I do not understand that. It's okay. Ronaldo sees Malin. It could be a good ball. Oh my god. Malin just took out the defender. I don't know why I slid like that. I did not need to do that. That was a little bit extra. I hope. Oh my god. It's a red card. Malin just got a red card. He just got ejected. What do I do? Oh, what do I do? I need, I need someone on that left side. Ronaldo, he has 30 defending. What does Cherokee have? Cherokee has 21. That's worse. Tete, maybe we bring Tete in, maybe Peterson. You know what? I'm gonna do something kind of crazy, boys. I am going to. You know what? Let's put McKinney over on the left wing, because he can play left mid. Let's move him to the left mid category there. And then Ronaldo is gonna come out for Taliso, because Taliso does do a pretty good job defending. Um, you know what? I like that. We're gonna bring McKinney back a little bit. Of course, we want to defend as much as possible right now. And then Fev's also going to come back a little bit um, down there. And that's how we're going to roll. We're not going to have a striker right now because we need all defending. Taliso's through. Out of all people, Taliso's through. That's kind of weird. He's going to get that into McKinney. Pass that back to Tagliafico. Into McKinney. Out for Gusto. And dribble at the defender. Dribbling at the defender. Dribbling at the defender on his left foot. Oh my god. It's too easy right now. On offense, it's way too easy right now. We are on a red card. Only 10 men. And we are still able to find an, find the back of the net. Gusto, you dog. What a stud. Why didn't they step up on him? Oh my god, Under's in. Under with a banging goal right there. That was a laser in the top left corner. Soliso. He's going to Iwar. Oh my god, Iwar's in. He's going with his left foot. It's not going to be in. Slot that back in. What are you doing? Favre. Come on, let's rub it into Marseille right now. Let's rub it into him. Or not. Okay. Well, let's just get to the whistle, I guess. We're going to win this game. Depends by how much, though. Two or one. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's only going to be one. Ollie Watkins, too? So they got Broja, Watkins... And Gwindu's in the team. They got a pretty solid squad. Alright, we're just gonna pass it around here. We know they're coming after us. There it is. We win the Derby in a close one. We only had 10 men for most of that second half, but we still come away with the win. That's a huge dub for us. There we are doing our celebration with the crowd. Unbelievable, boys. 5 to 4 was the score of that game.
You can't ask for a more intense derby than that. Boys, we have one of the first two games of this episode. We're going into game number three, and we need to win. And we are going to be facing Angers in our final game of the season. Um, I do want to look at the standings here. Where are we placed? We're in third right now. Oh my god, what happened with the Renee's game? Let's take a look. Who won that game? Renee's ended up losing to Leo. Leo's a good freaking team, man. That must have been a trap game for him. Leo's not even in the top eight. But they ended up beating Renee's, and Renee drops down to fourth. We're in third. We cannot catch Monaco. They are clear number twos this season. PSG is going to get first. It all comes down to this last game, boys. Renee's going to be playing Monaco, and we're going to be playing Angers. So I think for this game, I want to put Cherokee on that left wing side um, and then have Lacazette come off the bench. Of course, Lacazette is going to be moving to Real Madrid at the start of the next season. That's going to be an extra $35 million coming into the bank. I'm excited about that. Right now, looking at the possible budget for next season, with Champions League included, being top three in the league helps that. I think we will be looking at about $100 million to spend. Um, that's going to be very nice. Of course, we do have Jorginho coming into the squad next season. So that's going to be awesome. There is CR7. The big-time player for us has scored four goals in his last three matches. That's the reason we got him. Come business end of the season, you can always count on CR7. And it looks like we are at home here in the last game of the season. This is the season finale, boys. Grab your popcorn. Go ahead, grab some candy. Grab some water. You're going to need it. This is going to get wild. And for Kakaret, over to Ronaldo. Oh, I was trying to get that to McKinney, but it doesn't work. Cherokee does really well. He's going to go on his right foot. It's not a good shot. Gusto, though, on his left. Ooh, that was slotting right in the corner. Great save from the keeper. It's raining today, boys. Let's go ahead and rain down some goals on Angers here. CR7. He's a great passer, but he's going on his left foot. How many saves is this keeper going to make? Wow. Great start for us, though. There we go. Ah, Fev is not able to get that on target. Uh, I don't know if we can get through on a tie. I have not calculated that far ahead. I don't know if we can get through on a tie. Iwar's not going to get that over the top. He gets it back. Go on the wing to Fev. On his left foot. To McKinney. McKinney's there. He's great in the air. But he doesn't get that. Iwar, get that. Iwar, keep that. Nice. That's not where I wanted to pass it to, though. Of course, Renee's, I don't expect them to beat Monaco. So... They need to win. Renee's needs to win if they want to get through. Um, but I don't see them beating Monaco. So even a tie, they don't get through. So we can kind of afford to not win this game. But we kind of need to win this game if I want to be mentally stable, basically. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. I've been on edge this whole episode. McKinney. Oh, my gosh. Take the ball, please. Someone take the ball. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, oh, my God. Lopez, thank you. Thank the Lord for you. You've made up for that shabako last game. Oh, Ronaldo's over the top. He's free. But he's... Ronaldo's head touches are so bad. Even though he's so good at shooting the ball with his head, he can't control the ball with his head. It's kind of frustrating. And Stad Renee's right now is tied with Monaco at the half. 0-0. Zero, zero. So we got to keep an eye out for that game right now. We need them to drop points, any kind of points. We just can't have them win. We win, we're in. If we win, we are in. There's Cherokee right there. Let's get that over the top to Ronaldo. I see him running. Uh, the defender just reads it too well. Still too much space. What's he going to do with it? Ah, uh, he loses it. Can we get to that? Yes, we can't. Tad Lee Fico, what was that, man? No. There's no way. Nice. Let's go, McKinney. Up to Iwar. Ronaldo's going for a run. Let's go. He's going to get there. Yes, he is. He's still got it. He's shooting that. Banging it. Boys, I am so tired right now. This, this game is killing me right now. Don't give up a goal. Do not give up a goal. I will cry. Oh, my God. That was a foul. Yep, they're going to keep that. Please don't be a red card, though. It's a yellow for Kakaret. Let's make some subs. Let's make some subs. We're keeping Ronaldo on. We're keeping McKinney on. He's had a great game. Um, I think... 
that I want to put Tolisso into the midfield and McKinney on that left wing side. And then, do I make any more subs? I, I just don't think I do. I think I want to stick with the rest of this team. They've done it for me all season. Let's go ahead and bring Tolisso on. This could be his last game in a Lyon kit. I do want to sell him next season. What the actual heck? Is there a way that we can see what's going on around the league? No, there's not. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro, we need Renee to lose or, or tie. This is insane right now. This is insane. Please, come on. Get that to McKinney. We need a sense of urgency here. Let's go. Let's go. I war. Oh, I should have shot it with him. I war. There he is. No. No. No way. Two back to back season saving goals in back to back games. Actually, the first game of this episode was a season ending goal. Season saving goal. I'm sorry. I can't talk. I'm so excited. Boys, you should be excited too. This is insane. This is absurd. I thought we were down and out. We were gonna have to hope that Renee lost, but now we still kind of need Renee to drop points because I don't know if we go through. Oh my God! Stay tuned, boys. This is insane. <laughs> Look at my manager. Look at him celebrate. That's basically all our reactions right now. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle, ref. Oh my God. I am in shock right now. This game has me flabbergasted. Advance. Let's advance. The scores, they're up. Renee tied. Renee tied. Renee tied. We didn't even need that last goal. There it is, boys. Let's look at the standings. We should be in third. We're in third. Let's freaking go. We made Champions League, boys. We did it. After starting the season like 0 and 4, we ended up pulling through, getting it together, and winning 24 out of the last what 35 games? That's insane, boys. That's insane. We are sitting on 77 points, two points clear of Renee, who was in fourth. They're going to be going to the Europa League. We're going to the Champions League with Monaco and, of course, PSG. Boys, drop a like, a comment, and subscribe. This was the craziest season finale I could have hoped for. Marseille's not even going to be making Europe. However, next season, that means they only have one competition to focus on, so they're going to be tough to beat next year in the league. But Olympic Lyonnais back to the Champions League. And next season, boys, we are going to be looking to compete with PSG for the title. Let's go ahead and see who's in the relegation zone. Next season, Auxerre, Trois, and Ayasio and Toulouse will not be in the League 1 Uber Eats. They're going to be in League 2. And since this is a season finale, we are going to see who ended up as the top goal scorer for the league. Of course, it's Mbappe, but Calvert-Lewin was right with them. Wow. Neymar ended up doing pretty well this season. Gory in fourth with 19 goals. And look at Daniel Malin, boys, in that fifth spot. 18 goals on the season, our top scorer in the league. McKinney was our second top scorer with 16 goals. 16 goals from the midfield. I don't see one other midfielder up there. Wow, what a baller. Probably the Best midfielder in the league on this season. Fevre is also up there. 13 goals in the season. Uh, Ronaldo playing half the season. He did damn well. 12 goals in the league. Awesome to see. He's on the list. Um, and then Iwar makes the list as well. We hadn't said his name much uh, towards the business end of the season. But let's go to the top assisters. Iwar is joint top with Neymar. He's going to win the golden assist chart thing. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Uh, or what that's called, but he is co-top assister with Neymar, Fevre, Malin, McKinney, and look at this, CR7 is going to make an appearance, he is top the charts in the assist leaders category, this man has really revived his career, he's resurrected himself, he's come out as a new person, and of course, we cannot have a season finale without looking at the total stats on the season, like I said, Lopez had 7 clean sheets on the year, these are all the 
Lone players, looks like there's some positive growth. Malinovsky went up eight ratings. That's pretty impressive. These guys are all going to be back next season. But the top goal scorer, who else but Daniel Malin. The first signing we made when I took over here at Olympic Lyonnais. He went up four ratings this season to an 84. He scored 20 goals and had 11 assists for us on the year. That is 31 goal contributions in 39 games. Absolutely godly from Malin. And our midfielder, McKinney, another big signing for us. Scored 17 goals and assisted on 12 of them. 29 goal contributions from the midfield. Definitely, probably one of the most valuable midfielders in the world now. Weston McKinney. Absolutely awesome. And then CR7, 15 goals and 8 assists. That's 23 goal contributions in 26 games. That ratio is insane for a 38-year-old player. We need him next year. We're going to keep him, boys. I don't think he is retiring next season. It just says he's a great veteran. Iwar, our Cam, our Kaka, 13 goals and 19 assists. That is good for 32 goal contributions on the season. And that is more than Mallard. So Iwar has the most goal contributions throughout the team. He went up five ratings this season. And then we see Roman Fev with 13 goals and 12 assists from that right wing side. He's been a baller for us as well this season. 25 goal contributions. That's more than I thought he would have. Six ratings he grew. Wow, what a baller. Um, Cherokee with five goals and three assists off the bench. He did very well. And then we are going to say goodbye to Tete next season. He's going to go back to Shakhtar Donetsk. Remember, he is on loan only this season. Maybe we look to buy him back. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see him back in the squad next year. Uh, we can make it happen. We're going to have a lot of cash. But he ended, he ended the season with four goals and three assists. And Gusto from that right back side, two goals and four assists on the year. Tagliafico, two goals and two assists uh, from that left back side. Rene Adelaide had two huge goals this season. He scored two crazy goals for us. We're going to keep him, I think, just based on those performances. Uh, Lukeba was probably our best defender. I liked him a little bit better than Todibo. Um, th that pairing was pretty deadly, though. Um, next season, I don't want to give up as many goals, but Lukeba is going to be at the center of that next season. He grew five ratings. He's 20 years old only, 81 overall. Toliso off the bench. I do think I want to sell him next year. One goal and three assists this year. Lacazette, one lousy goal in eight games, but he's going to be gone next season, going to Real Madrid. Good for him. That's probably a dream move. Uh, who else do we have down here? A um, couple bench players. A uh, couple people that grew. Peterson was big for us as well coming off the bench. No goals, but he did have three big assists for us. He grew three ratings. That's positive from him. Diamande grew three ratings as well. No goals, no assists, but he is a he's a pretty good center back. I enjoyed using him, you know. Um, I, I have high hopes for him. He's only 22. I do want to keep him in the squad for next year. Um, and then Cockerett, you know, he was really one of our holding midfielders. He was on the right side of the double pivot all season. Played 40 games, didn't have any goals to show for it. I thought he scored a little bit at least, but I guess he didn't. Assisted on one goal. Um, grew three ratings though. Um, definitely we're going to put Jorginho in that place next year and he'll probably score a little bit more goals. Um, and then of course Todibo, he had a pretty good season. Um, zero goals, zero assists, but he did really well in that center back side. And I want to take a look at the best goal of the season. The most outstanding, outrageous insane goal we saw all season and I think that trophy is going to go to none other than Lukeba. Lukeba had the craziest goal we saw this year. It was like a sideways bicycle, something you would see Ronaldo doing and it was from a corner and it was the most insane goal I've ever seen in my life. And speaking of Lukeba, it looks like Inter have taken notice of his crazy season that he just had and they want to buy him for 42 mil. He's worth 34 um, but we definitely are not going to accept this. It looks like Athletic Bilbao transfer offer was accepted. I don't remember when that happened. Oh, you know what? That was his release clause that was met earlier in the season. That tripped me out for a second. I, I don't want to sell Lukeba at all. But Inter, we're going to go ahead and reject this. We need like 100 mil for him. He's too good for that. Tournament prize money, 46 million. We don't get that much money in League on. I'm kind of surprised about that. But $46 million is a lot of money to play with. And of course, with the season finale, we need to look and see how we did with the objectives. We missed this one, which is sign a youth player uh, younger than 20 with a greater potential than the overall rating in the same position. We got two players, but we didn't get the third one. 
Um, going to brand exposure, we got both of those. Easy, get 10 wins in the league. We got 24. Sign one crucial first team player to the defender position. We got Todibo um, signed earlier in the season, so we got that done. We did not reach the Coupe Nassia now semifinal. We got knocked out to FC Lorient. I think we all remember that insane game. Um, but we didn't get that one done. And then we did get the financial long-term goal done. Increase your club worth by 30% through player sales and competition prize money rewards. I'm pretty sure we got that done really early in the season. But overall, we have a thumbs up in our manager category. Looks like the board is going to back us next season. And then it would not be a season finale if we did not take a look and see how the rest of the world leagues played out. Belgium looks like Ghent won their league. Um, and then let's go to England. That's not the right one. Um, let's go to England and see Chelsea won the Premier League by two points over Liverpool, Man City third, and Manchester United fourth. Those are going to be your Champions League places next year. Um, and it looks like Fulham, Leeds, and Crystal Palace will be relegated. And then we will also see the Bundesliga. Bayern Munich, of course, wins it. It seems like they win it every year. And then let's look at the Serie A, the Italian League. Juventus tops it, Inter second, Milan third, Napoli fourth. Those are your Champions League places from Italy. And then in the Eredivisie, Ajax does not win. They lose by one point to PSV. Cody Gagpo and PSV end up beating Ajax. That's insane. Um, let's go ahead and go to Liga Portugal, where Sporting CP has won the title, but... Them, Benfica, and Braga were all tied on points. It does not get closer than that at the top of a title race. Insane. And then let's go ahead and look at the Scottish Prem. Looks like Rangers ends up beating Celtic. Celtic is a good team, but Rangers tops them there. And then La Liga, Real Madrid ends up winning. They're only going to get better with Lacazette coming into the squad next year. And this is the team we are finishing season number one with. I love this team, boys. However, we are going to make some changes starting with next season. I hope you guys join me for that. It's been one hell of a ride so far. I'm excited for season number two. I'm excited for the prospects ahead of us. Um, Champions League is ahead. We got the Coupe Nasty now. And of course, we got League on next season. We got three competitions to focus on. Of course, we're going to need some more squad depth. Maybe some more star players coming into the squad. Let me know who you guys want me to sign in the comments below. Go ahead and give this video a like, a comment, and hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 100 subs before the end of January. I will see you guys on the next one. I will see you in the next season. I hope you guys have a happy new year, and I will see you later. Peace.